So continuing with the last video, we've got my full character here. I haven't done much since the last video, but I'm gonna do the texturing side of the face and marry. So continuing with it, we have my base mesh that has all the clothes on top, the hair. The hair was in the last video, so if you wanna check that out, go see it. Um, but so I got the base mesh, I took the head um, and when you get the head or whenever you get a body, you want it to be about 839,000. You want it to be below a million polys when you send it off to marry. It really depends on how big your mesh is. So I sent my mesh as a head as 839,000. As you can see here, I just got the head, um, detached it, 769,000 polys. When you got that, you want to export as an OBJ. When you've done that, you want to go into Marry or open up Marry, create a new project, and with it, you want to select root path, um, geometry, you want to select your geometry um, using this part here. Channels, um, if you're using the non commercial version, you want to use 8 bit, so choose that depth as 8 bit. Um, and the bump map is 8-bit. We're only going to be importing the bump and the base color. So you've got 4K, automatic sRGB, normal. Um, create a path where you want to save it and then create a new project. So when you come in here, you should have a blank, um, a blank project. I've just opened up my project from earlier just so it's easier for me to remember what to do. Um, so you have your base. Um, what you want to do is, if you have your textures X, Y, Z maps, go into textures X, Y, Z, full face, bring in the CP displacement. I'm going to bring in my nose as well. So CP displacement, bring that in. And you should have your image manager. You'll have that one and also let's bring in full face. So you'll have these, if you hold control and shift, you can make the image smaller. If you hold shift, you can drag the image. Um, inside the sort of mesh, if you hold alt, you can rotate. Alt, shift, you can move about and shift and oh, alt and control, you can zoom in and out. If you press five, you can go straight onto the front view. One, two, three, four, five. So with your image, you want it to be as big as you can get it to be because you can get all the detail you need, the higher it is or the bigger it is. So because we have the nose and the face, we just we're going to do two different parts. First, I've got the base layer. So when you have your base layer, all you have to do is add a new layer, that'll add a new layer. These you'll bring in later on, but create the layer so you can start drawing. Call it front face. And then just click on that. Uh, if you hold R and move left and right, you can make the draw size bigger. Uh, R up and down, you can make it, um, not sure what the word is, but less I don't know so start painting on your textures or your texture map uh, make sure the lips match with this you can just keep going like that so just paint on everywhere you need um, the ears as well Let's do that in a sec so yeah get your, get your head texture all the areas you need um, you can then work this uh, or sort of change it later on in ZBrush, add more displacement maps to fill in the head. So yeah, paint on. When you've done that, um, add another one for the east side face. So yeah, when you've done that, you can then go into the areas that you need to touch up a bit. Like with me, I'm going to want to touch up the eyes because sort of eyelashes were placed where I don't want them to be placed. So keep sort of doing stuff, making sure the eye textures are looking good. 
We've done one side going to the other side. So yeah, another part I want to do is the eyes. No, not the eyes, the mouth. I'll also touch this up later in ZBrush. And you press control to rotate. But when that is sort of there, looks just about there. Um, you want to do the side of the face. So when you go into side face, you can do the is. You can then get this little bit of the face here um, and just sort of get rid of all that blurriness that you don't need. Try not to um, paint the hair because the, paint's, the hair's not really needed. So you see that that side is now looking a bit better. Do the same with this side here. Um, do find the ears just to fill it in. Right, so now that you have the side projection and the front projection, um, looks quite tidy. You're gonna to wanna to create a nose layer. So create the nose. And then just bring in this one here. Right, so with the nose, just... Um, Yeah, just fit it, make it look all right. That'll be the front of the nose, and just do the sides. Hold control to rotate. Then inside the nose, you wanna just get a random color or a random sort of texture, because it doesn't really matter. You just wanna fill in that little area. Then do the other side of the nose. So when you've got that, you should have all your nose textures, your mouth, your eyes, and your ears. Everything should be done done that create a shuffle this then allows it to be shown in your RGB settings which are different um, just shows different levels of detail It'll create a level um, create levels make sure your blacks low your whites quite high try and balance it out so you can see the sort of level of detail um, if it looks all right to you, all you have to do is create a gamma, invert it, then export the flattened gamma. So export all layers flattened. Check which one it is. So I've got the G. Yeah, I've got G. So export flattened. Then do the same for your R. Export flattened, all those flattened. R gamma. And B for your blue channel. Export all those flattened. What you'll see is that is the B is your sort of micro details. I think R is your mid and then, no, R is your large, G is your mid, and then B is your, your uh, small details. So after you've done that, come back in here. Um, select all high. Create a layer, so delete that layer. Create a layer, name, G, new layer. 
A and B. Um, go into your G. Now for each one of these you want to do, well, first you want to do polygroups. So let's just first do, what was it, UV map, flip V, texture map, new from UV map, then new from polypaint, displacement map. You want to import your, um, so I think we're going to do the G first. There's, yeah, there's G. So you want to record it. <clears throat> After that, intensity maybe 0.1, mid value 0.5, and you'll see all these little values are here. <clears throat> yeah, 0.1, because you can change the value later on. Apply displacement map. Okay, so that moved a bit. Maybe first you want to do those morph targets. Morph target, store your morph target. Then you want to do displacement map, displace on, apply. And that's applied, you'll have your G layer and you can decrease it if you want, you can increase it. These are going to be the, is it the mid or? Yeah, these are going to be the large values. Then your R, you're going to want to do this. So R, do displacement map, import your R, apply displacement map, and your B. So if you're with your B channel, just do UV map, no, not UV map, uh, displacement, import B. Right, there are your micro details. So what we need to do is just, I think I'm gonna get rid of these layers quick. Uh, R, G, one. So the R, I'm gonna quickly change that. Um, the R channel. Mid value 0.7, that works a bit better. Now your G channel, um, same sort of thing, just apply displacement, is it on? Yep, so displacement map, apply displacement map. Yeah, if you have a mid value of 0.7, it gets rid of that sort of change in the shape of your head. So considering the G is the large, G is mid, R is big and B is blue, you wanna do Rename it to large detail. Your B is your small one. So um, B is small or micro. And your G is your mid. So maybe bring down the mid. Your large, bring them down a bit. And your micro, maybe to 0.6. You can change those values later on, but that is a brief tutorial on how to get your Mary um, textures in and out to ZBrush. And yeah, so now that tutorial's finished, that's done really. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was informative. And if it did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video where I go through detailing the clothes and after that, probably UVing and texturing. But yeah, bye.